Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Two Drink Minimum, the only podcast on the planet that both actively supports the Toronto Raptors and at the same time hates 99% of their fans. The gentleman in front of me doesn't need an introduction, but he's going to get one anyway, because it's goddamn Mike Ward. I am Mike Ward, you are Pantelis, mm. and the lady in blue here is uh, Poseidon. Hello, ma'am. Lady in blue. Welcome. Why not rhinoceros in blue? All right, would you stop with that the rhino puns? insulting. Yeah. yeah. We're not here making fat jokes, right, Tubby? Listen, fatty. You motherfucker. <laughs> you don't get to pick the insults we do. <laughs> no, you're wrong. Yeah. So I, um, you, did you see the parade that they had for the Raptors? Yeah. It was immense. There was two million people. Fake fans. Fake. fake. Yeah. Like, like the prime and minister Justin was there. Justin Trudeau. What a fucking piece of garbage. Yeah, because people got shot up and yeah. they go, two women were seen running from the scene and stuff. And I was so pissed. I was like, two women? We refer to him as prime minister. That's what it is. <laughs> did you see the video of, like, he's doing his speech and he's going, we did it. And it's Did so he? Sick. I didn't even watch yeah. anything. He talked? Why are you talking? Yeah. because You don't even like, like the Raptors. We did it. And this is what makes Canada great. They're not but even Canadian. All of the, there's no Canadian player on the fucking team. There's a guy from Senegal. There's, there's a, 99 a, a Americans. A bunch of Africans. Yeah. A guy from Barcelona. A kid from Compton. Yeah. One from Philly. So there's no Canadians. And you see like the players talking to each other and like, giggling because they're probably going, fuck. This guy's an idiot. I'm, I don't even live here in the summer. Like, <laughs> like that, the, what's the name of that guy? Uh, Gazel? Gazal. Gaz- uh, whatever. Mark Gazal. He, he fucking, he lives like in, in, uh, in the States and in Spain. Yeah. He doesn't even have Toronto no. on like on his Twitter page. Yeah. bio like when he says where he lives he doesn't even have the name of the fucking city of they, course they don't give a fuck about this but that's the well country. they like the city and the fan i know what you mean but no, yeah, they it's, they it's, they like it but they're not going to become citizens yeah, to support yeah, yeah. Canada. it's so stupid to think that way i'm happy they won a great team great bunch of guys but i don't like all these fake fans that come out of the world We're like we support canada like it's yeah. canada's team i know people who for years were talking shit to me for liking the raptors all the Raptors, all the Raptors, and then now they turn around and they're walking around with Raptors T-shirts. I want to fucking spit on them and their parents. Their parents are yeah. responsible too. But what are you doing? Just live your life. You don't have to jump on every bandwagon. Let the real fans like me, who have been through it and have had their heart broken for many years, enjoy this moment. But let the people like me that got on the bandwagon game six <laughs> enjoy it too. <laughs> yes. I've, I've been a big fan since game five. <laughs> he's admitting it yeah no because i i did like basketball when i was little but i never liked the raptors because i fucking hated their logo yeah and, the dinosaur. Uh, yeah i thought it was just so stupid and uh but i was really happy for them yeah, i, I never feel patriotic except when i watch Sports. any sporting event i didn't even feel very patriotic again for me it's it's about the team like i like that team yeah if I liked them and they were from fucking uh, Buffalo, New York, I would still like them. You know what? It was amazing the whole the way they would sing the anthem. Well, that was fun too. But I mean, I love the states. I love America. Yeah. So it wasn't a Canada versus America thing to me. It was just my team is winning. That's what they should do. Like every time that there's been a referendum to see if Quebec should separate, they should just have a big sporting event the week before just to make all the Quebecers proud to be Canadian. Seriously, because every time, like every. Uh, You'll notice every time there are the Olympics, like people at the national anthem in Montreal, no one cares. Yeah. But the week after the Olympics, they're all standing and they're fucking proud to be Canadian yeah. for oh. like a week and a half. Yeah, because you remind them. You're like, look at how yeah. nice this is. I don't like people like that. You don't like people in general. That's true. Yeah. I don't like many people. They, many they people share don't the like sentiment. me. And many people don't like me. Doesn't matter, bro. Fuck these haters. <sighs> Fuck the haters. You, you should have come over on Saturday, Mike. I, I made a special feast for you. I got vegan food oh, yeah, for you. Sure. Fuck, I'm sorry. And you never showed up. And then I had to eat it. And I was like, why does Mike eat this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> what was it? What'd you get? I got him. Uh, I got you stuff from Oviv. Okay. Because I thought it would be good. Because uh, I got you a BLT. I guess it's coconut instead of bacon. Yeah. It tasted very coconutty. And then I got you some pate something. It was like a, it was like a burger. But it, I forgot the name of what they used instead of meat inside. Uh, I did my research at the time. Sp- it's probably some kind of mushroom. I don't know if it's mushroom. I don't know what the fuck. Oh, shit. You know I forgot to bring? I have a vegan brownie for you. That's still there for you. Oh, nice. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I went, um, like I told my wife, okay, we're gone at seven. She was like, let's take a nap first. And I fucking hate take, idea. Take, take, taking naps. She was like, no, no, I'll wake you up. I'll wake you up. Then I woke up like at 930. That happens to me all the time. I yeah. did that in Greece. Two years ago when I went, I was supposed to meet my sister. 
and I had my girlfriend with me, and uh, where we were at the hotel, where the balcony was, we didn't know at the time because it was the first day there. Uh, the lights were outside, you know where the sign is? Yeah. So they kept changing. The little, so to me, the whole time I was trying to, we took naps and kept waking up. I kept seeing the light. It looked like sun sunlight. Oh, outside. so you thought, oh, it's three in the afternoon. Yeah, exactly. The whole time. And then finally, like, fuck, man, I feel really gross. Like, how long have I been sleeping? And it was 1130 at night, but it looked like it was fucking the middle of the afternoon. And then I had to tell my sister. Oh, shit. She's like, are you lying to me? I go, no, we really felt it would look like, oh, shit, <laughs> send you a picture. It looks like daylight outside. Well, yeah, it happens. That's why I avoid naps. So you happy in the new place, though? Yeah, Apart I'm happy from in the new the place. Vegan garbage food, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I keep, like I said, I don't really like a lot of the people that live in there so far. I've met a couple of nice people, but majority of people I've met, pieces of shit. But so they're ugly and uh, horrible. Yeah, they don't know how to live. I, I didn't. I don't know if I told you when. Oh, I, I haven't seen you yet. A few days ago, I was bringing my TV up. So listen, it, like people are listening to this, and you guys could tell me if maybe I'm overreacting, but. I come in from the basement, you know, I park my car, I have the TV. It's a heavy, it's, it's a TV, right? So I'm holding it. I get in the elevator and there's a, people who got in one floor under me, the second basement. It was a family. It was a woman, her husband. They had like a five-year-old girl and they had a baby in one of those baby carrying things. And uh, they had the baby dropped on the floor as good parents do. And I walk in, I see them and then I notice that they had already pressed two buttons on things. Like, okay, they're probably separating. You know, like one guy's going one place, the other one. We stop at the, the RC, the regular level. They look at each other. They look at me. The lady's like, oh, don't worry. I got this. She holds the door. The guy goes out, checks his mail. While I'm holding the TV, looking at him now, I'm holding the Checks his mail, starts a conversation with somebody out there. So I start losing my mind. I'm like, what is happening? Like, how do you live in society, you garbage fucking people, right? So he walks in like a minute later, like nothing happened, right? Like, like I'm, I'm part of their fucking family. Now I'm standing there holding a fucking TV. Normally you see someone, you're yeah. like, all right, he's tired. I'll, I'll handle my business later. Yeah. He's not part of my life. So then they get off like a floor, uh, a couple of floors before me. So when they get off, the last guy holding the baby was the man. And he tries to look up at me to be like, goodbye or whatever the fuck. So he's like, uh, my, and the whole time I was doing this. <laughs> just as he was talking, I wasn't saying that. I was like, and he, and he just started walking out. I was holding the TV, just. Give him the crazy eyes, just so he knows. If I ever see him in the fucking building, that I'm, I'm, I'm crazy. Not to be fucked with, because I don't want him to talk to me. Who but does? they don't know how to live in society. These yeah. people. It's so inconsiderate. Yeah. Even if you weren't holding a TV, like, <clears throat> just fucking do it on your own time, bro. Plus, every piece of garbage I've met is like of the same ethnicity, which makes me feel like uh, yeah, a if I racist. Yeah, yeah. If, <laughs> if I ever mention it, it sounds like I'm racist, but it's just where they're from. What do you want me to do? That's like if somebody comes yeah. to Park X. You're going to end up arguing with a Greek, a Pakistani. <laughs> a lot of people, Indian. though, don't know how to be in society. Yeah, they don't know. They, it's the same as when peop, how people drive and how no one no one realizes that, hey, you're not alone. Yeah. Like uh, uh, this morning, I had a thing at the hospital. And on the way back, there was this old man with a bike. And he's walking next to his bike. So I slow down because he's going to walk in front of my, my house. So I want him to pass the house before I go in the driveway. He stops his bike in front of my driveway and then starts tying his shoe. Yeah, shit and like I'm that. Like, you so I fucking honked. Like, at first I was super <laughs> polite. I was driving slowly, but then I fucking honked. I was like, fucking move. He's you getting can, too expensive. You, you can't fucking tie your... Like, the, the uh, same thing when I got here. There was some piece of shit that left his car parked in the street in front of the only free parking spot. Oh, my So God. I don't know if he ran out of gas or something happened. No, people are just assholes. But just fucking push it forward two feet or backwards Was that just feet. now? Yeah. That was the Uber Eats guy. That was the Uber Eats guy. Oh, <laughs> what a piece of shit. Yeah, what he, a piece he, he of shit. He came up and he demanded a tip. I didn't even order. The food wasn't for me. But the guy walked in. He was wearing a French uh, Toronto Raptor shirt. It was in French. It was We the North. Instead of okay, We yeah. the North, it was We, O-U, uh, I. And um, he came up and I saw him, okay, nice shirt, bro. And he's like, you like this shirt? He was all excited. So then he told Phil, he's like, I brought your order. They like my shirt. I'm a cool guy. You're going to tip me, right? And Phil's like, what? He's like, yeah, come on. Get on your app. Open the app right now. Let's go. Add, oh, he add, wanted him to tip yeah, yeah. him in front of him? Yeah, add a two bucks. And, and Phil got uncomfortable, but did it because he's damn. like, you seem to like him. I go, I don't know this man. I liked his shirt. I didn't even order the food. Fuck. Don't tip him based on me. But I, I normally tip the Uber Eats guys. I thought it was a standard. If I had, if you know what I should get? Because I was thinking, I was like, fuck. I wanted to find a piece of paper and just write something to, but I should get like uh, bumper stickers and stick them on people's windshields. Asshole. Just oh. learn how to live in society. Or business cards. Yeah. But I'd rather uh, a sticker. bumper sticker because then you can stick it on the guy's windshield. So <laughs> he's fucking, he's got to scrape it off like a piece of garbage. But most of them, because they're idiots, they would drive with it. And yeah. Do this. 
<laughs> this is okay. <laughs> I'll get through this. I- I'm going to get the last laugh. I'm okay. I got my face out the window. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. They don't know- yeah. What you said is correct. That's how I feel too. They just don't know how to live in society. Like they act like they're in some fucking village. Yeah. It's like, dude, what are you doing? You act like you're in a village and not just you're in a village, that you're the only person in that. Like you're yeah. the king of the village. Like when there's two lanes and they're in the middle. So they're just blocking both sides. You can't go around them. Oh, I, and that happens often. I lose my fucking shit it with that. drives me nuts. I, it happened to me this morning. I was going to train. It was happening. And I fucking started honking until the guy got scared and went all the way almost on the fucking sidewalk. You know what I've noticed? The recent fad with pedestrians. A recent fad. Fad. Like, mm-hmm. uh, you know, is uh, <laughs> when you go to cross, you've been at the stop sign waiting people cross. And then they see you're trying to cross, but then they speed up to try and pass. Yeah. It's like I'm a fucking car like I'm faster than you. Like oh, a, like a person you mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You you know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. But the people is different because a lot of people, they're just, they're not sure. Like I've noticed this at stop signs. A lot of people who never drive, they don't understand the etiquette. Some of them think that they don't stop. Some of them just walk right through. So if I've already started driving, I'm already halfway to the intersection and you try to cross in, I'm going to keep fucking going. If I hit you, I hit you. That's your fucking problem. You know what I mean? You see the cars already coming. Yeah. You stop, you wait. A car's not going to stop in the middle of the intersection and block four lanes because no. you're a fucking idiot and can't wait. Because legally, like, the pedestrian does have the right of way. But not but, while you're already driving. But in the old days, people used to realize, I'm a 180-pound man. That's a 4,000-pound car. Yeah. If we bump in, into each other... He wins. He wins. <laughs> people used to respect that. I, I still respect yeah. the, the pedestrians first. I let them. Like, I'll stop. I'll wait. I'll be like, okay, go. I'll wait. I'm seeing when I'm already... I've stopped. Everybody passed. I start driving. I'm already past the end. And then on the other side, someone sees me driving and then they decide to cross. Dude, I'm already in motion. Yeah. I, I have right of way now. Yeah. Or the cyclists. Yeah. Those goddamn cyclists. I hate those cyclists. Everybody hates cyclists. But you know why? I think I feel bad for cyclists. Cyclists, I feel, are like um, uh, women soccer players. <laughs> I feel like they get a bad rap because of other female yeah. athletes. That's what I think happens. Because like cyclists, I'm sure there's good cyclists out there. There's people that I know that I never knew were cyclists. They go on the bike paths. They don't go in the middle of the street when there's a bike. But you know what I mean? Yeah. Like they, they follow the rules. They stop at a red light. They don't fucking go through and almost hit you and get hit. And all the shitty ones is the ones that you remember. You remember every shitty experience. So we take it out on all the cyclists. Just like that's what happens in women's sports. Like now the women's soccer, everybody's making fun of the World Cup. Like look at these. Fu-. But I watched it with him. It's actually a lot of fun. Yeah. Like they're a bit obviously slower than let's say the men would, but skill wise they're fucking good. Like for and they're all similar skill levels, so it's fun to watch. It's competitive. Yeah. You saw that it was a good time, but they get a bad rap because of other female athletes like uh, WNBA. Because WNBA is shit. The WNBA is just you're watching an hour of women missing layups. Oh really? Yeah, yeah it's fucking bad. It's fucking. So I think because of the WNBA, it gave other women athletes a bad rap because there's so many good women at like there's sports yeah. you want to watch. Like obviously the women's soccer, it's not the same as real soccer, but it's fucking fun. You know, like they're trying. Yeah. Or women's volleyball. Uh, yeah, but that, you like that for different reasons. Yeah, yeah. I'm seeing the women's soccer. Women hockey is good. Women too. hockey is good yeah. too. Women ball hockey, yeah. dude. I, I've seen ball hockey women players better than most of the men yeah. that I play with. Really? Just, yeah, yeah. There's certain sports like there's certain sports that men are not good at. Like I told him, field hockey. Field hockey. You ever seen field hockey? Only women play field hockey. I didn't what even know guys hockey? could play field exactly. hockey. Exactly. And they look horrible. If you see a guy trying to play, it looks yeah. bad. It's not a good sport yeah. for guys. But women, they're good at it. And it's, that's their sport. What is field hockey? You see what I mean? It's better that way. It's like a you have a uh, you're on the field. It's a little ball. And you have a it's a stick that looks like a, a cartoon cane. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's it's like a, it's curved. And it's thick. I, I think it's round too. Yeah, it's like fun. it doesn't make sense. And what it, do you do with it? It's fun it, to watch. It looks like someone went through their grandfather's closet and was like, "Let's play a game." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then it started. He's got a soccer net. He's got a fucking bowling ball. Yeah, and we got canes. Yeah, you see, that's a good. But you never yeah. hear about it. It's because women's basketball, I think, got a lot of attention. And there's some good basketball players in women's basketball. Yeah, but there's a lot of bad, like mediocre ones. And you know, a team you're gonna you can't fill it up with all stars all the time. Yeah, yeah. So th- I think they gave it a bad rap because soccer, fuck man, they're good. Yeah. But they should have done. They they probably just had too many teams to start out. In WNBA, yeah, yeah. they forced it. Because uh, how many teams uh, does the WNBA still exist? I hope not, but I think it does. And they had they had a bunch. They had like twenty teams, right? Yeah, or, I think like every, almost every NBA team had like an affiliate. Uh, they should have started out with like 
four. Yeah, six. that's how you start. Yeah, yeah four, six teams, and then you yeah. build it up, and yeah. then you get like really good players. How like yeah. back in the days, the original team started. It was a, yeah. uh, the original yeah. sports. So it was always four or five. Yeah, you start teams small. Yeah. You don't yeah. try your your luck at, and especially when when now they're like the, the perception is all women in sports is shit or whatever. Some, yeah, some is not going to be fun, but look at fighters, look at UFC fighters. They're yeah. Fucking, fucking super women skilled. are They'll beat the amazing, shit out of us. yeah. Yeah, look at, like I said, soccer's fun. The only thing I hate about soccer now is that they're demanding to get paid the same as men, like the men players, and that's stupid for many reasons because men, the men uh, national teams in the World Cup aren't getting paid more because they're men. They're getting paid more because it's a billion dollar industry. Yeah. So the same amount of people don't watch the, f- the female game for them to merit that money. They want the same amount as the as, but yeah. they they, but they do, don't make they don't they draw do the same amount. They get the same amount as a guy who'd attract only four hundred. Exactly. They they make no. You know what's even crazier? I found out yesterday. They There's, make more. They make more percentage wise because based on really yeah based on all of the uh, the ad revenue from the last World Cup, uh, the men made a lot of money like millions whatever, but they got nine percent basically each player. Uh, the same equivalent with what they have now. The women got paid less overall, but they got 13% of the full take. Oh, shit. So they, yeah. So that's what I'm saying is it's always sketchy. You can't have the same when the same amount of people aren't watching. Yeah. Like if, if I do a show and he does a show, a stand-up show, and five people show up to watch me and 50 people show up to watch him, I can't be like, I should yeah. make the same. I didn't sell as many tickets. Yeah. Like Amy Schumer makes way more than I do yeah. doing a show. And I should make more. I'm a man. <laughs> That's all it takes. <laughs> yeah. Looks yeah. like uh, the gender wage gap isn't yeah. a myth. It's real. But who would have known it's actually yeah. reversed? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not for everything, but yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, but See, that is a myth. Host, in North America, that's a you myth. host this. Oprah hosted a thing. Yeah, what the fuck? I should be getting Oprah <laughs> yeah. money. You should be getting all More those than fat, stupid white yeah. women to go sit and watch. What tea does he drink? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't she a billionaire? Yeah, of course, she's, she's a billionaire. One of the richest people on the planet. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. You know, right? Because she's a lady. She's rich as fuck. And black. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Have said that. When that you work, really racist. No, it no, was we didn't. Take, I didn't take it as racist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we and that's what we expect. Yeah, we also expect some racism, but, but actually, that's what makes that's what actually makes Oprah the uh, one of the most impressive people in that in that category of money, right? Yeah. Because in the beginning, she started with nothing, nothing, and yeah. they put everything in front of her. They didn't like her because she didn't have the look she wanted. She was, she was black. She was a woman. Everything, yeah. and she still pulled. The, like that's for yeah. you should be motivation. Yeah. Because she pulled a finger and said, "Oh, you don't like it. Yeah. I'm still gonna fucking go get what's her." Mine. Her parents were worse than than your dad. Yeah. Her her father actually fucked her. Mm. Oh my god. When she was god. like seven yeah. or nine she, or oh something. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are you? S- yeah. Are you yeah. serious? Make fun of Oprah for yeah. a lot of things, bro. But in terms of like overcoming and doing it, she's that's the truth. Goddamn, god she's yeah. a trooper. Yeah. Yeah. Holy fuck, bro. Yeah. Now, you have a newfound respect for her, huh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, because I never really looked at her story. Yeah, nobody knows. Oprah Oprah said something once that I've actually sort of lived my life this way for a long time. Black you don't know, crack? No. You know how people always bitch about, I never got a chance to do this. And she and she, uh, what she said was so true. She said, everyone gets a chance. It's just not everyone's ready when they get their chance. Oh. So she goes, the trick is to be super ready. Super, super ready. And then once you do get that opportunity, you're ready and you're going to kill it. And that's our motto usually, right? Be, be undeniable. Like in terms of yeah. comedy, me and you have that same philosophy yeah. of just be undeniable. So when the opportunity comes, they can't take it away from me. It's like, uh, yeah. I can't deny it. He's the best. Because like most people, most people, especially in our business, will bitch. Ugh. Like especially here in Montreal, they'll be like, why don't I ever get a gala? You, you, you don't deserve to fucking work. <laughs> Like, you're not any good. Yeah, Poseidon was going to yeah. get to a fight on Sunday. Yeah. Oh, the, really? Yeah, I was doing it. I didn't even Your notice. Sunday fun day thing? Yeah, he didn't, I didn't even notice. I was after the show. I was oh, just, yeah. I was just sitting there talking, and, and some people asked me, like, hey, Pantels, we saw you're going to be at Just for Laughs. I was like, yeah, about you know, an hour. This and, and then that. someone bitch. Some comedian was, uh, I didn't notice. He saw him. Apparently, as soon as I said it, and he realized that I had a, a thing at Just for Laughs, you could do the face, because I didn't see him. I don't know what he did, but apparently he lost his shit, and then he left. So let's say you guys are talking. He did this. He goes, Oh, really? And I was just like, motherfucker, like... But I love it. You know why? Yeah. That's how my title is. Yeah. is better than you. Because yeah. that's how I'm fucking better than you. <clears throat> he also, acted like a deaf guy in LA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, what's funny is because uh, uh, the people he was talking to, they were like, oh, you're funny. Nah, nah. And then as soon as you showed up, you took away all of the attention. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. I, was I know, no, no, I know, but I had to leave the place. Like I can't. No, no, I'm no, not gonna live is, in the comments. Is the guy a, a good guy, a good comic, no. or no? No. I mean, has he been doing it long? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That must hurt way more for him. <laughs> yeah. 
you know. ah, what can you do, bro? You know, tomato, tomato, go fuck yeah. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. But I, I I keep working. I'm always hustling. Like yeah. I told him, I haven't rested properly in months. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In months from the moving, from the fucking flying, from this, from uh, fucking editing, all that. It's 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 a it's a nightmare. But I love it. Like this yeah. is I'm having a good time. Like on Saturday, I, he was like, he was so tired. He was just taking a nap. Yeah, I tried. I took a nap before everybody came over just to try to replenish my energy. It's rare that I see him like that in a position of weakness. Yeah. Where he yeah. Could fucking just rape me. Wait, but he what? doesn't no, know. I didn't mean that. He doesn't know that. that. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Shug- That's what you've been waiting for? <laughs> I've been training with Nick Drosos, bro. Self defense guy. You cannot rape me. You cannot. You've become unrapeable. I've become unrapeable, <laughs> sir. That's what he does, though. He helps because uh, a lot of women need to learn that stuff. Bro, yeah. Because yeah. fucking. Uh, he helps. Like, that's actually a real helpful thing. Yeah. Like, because people are fucked up now. You never know what could happen. Uh, that's good for women to know that kind of shit. Because as much as we joke, fucking. Uh, you know, there's some serious creeps out there. How it's, many, uh, like, uh, d- did he train you one on one? Yeah, he trains like you one on one. Okay. Yeah. And then today it was me, and then Rafni was Sugar Sammy. Okay. So he had all the, he's just a comedy today. You, you know what I noticed? I've noticed, like, uh, since I had been going out more recently, like nightclubs and shit. Women are harder to rape, huh? Huh? What? No, no, no. What the hell, bro? I noticed it. Some dudes just like, <laughs> oh, they're harder. <laughs> no. Oh, fuck. Some guys are trying to put roofies in your drink? No. They're always trying to... Fuck, bro. Like, very rapey and creepy. They're always trying to grab women. Oh, and when they're a little drunk, come to the bathroom with me, shit like that. And I'm just like, what the fuck, bro? Maybe they just Jesus. need help wiping, yeah. bro. You don't know their situation. There's a, there's a thing we do at the Le Bordel, and I think a bunch of bars do this. Uh, for for In the ladies' room, there's a poster, and it says, if there's a weirdo hitting on you, order this drink at the bar. And that's a yeah. signal to the bartender that uh, some weirdo's trying to rape you, and then we'll get the bouncer to beat the fuck out of him. Really? Yeah. Holy shit! Can they don't they they I don't know what the drink is because uh, I I don't think they want to tell me because people are saying it around me. You know, <laughs> I'm like a shot for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> tell me what the drink is. Next time we're there with him, I'm gonna so make sure he gets beat up. Oh uh, yeah, Jesus Christ! Yeah, just heard this. <laughs> I've seen some guys, some guys at some clubs. Uh, yeah, I have the Shirley Temple. Pantels, the Shirley Temple. Yeah, yeah. the Shirley Temple. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some guys uh, at, at some nightclubs. Uh, the way the bathrooms are, the men's bathroom will be before you the women's. You can see their dicks. No, they'll wait. They'll wait and they'll try to grab women to go into the bathroom with them. But just oh, random women. Jesus. They what didn't, clubs do you attend? Bro, they didn't create rapport with them. They didn't talk to them. You nothing. don't know that. I feel like you're jumping to conclusions. Bro. These guys might be super charming. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Stop it. Fuck. I she don't, means it in a playful way. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's something wife. weird, though, that, like, I have a friend. I would never realized how bad my friend was at this. But uh, he's very touchy-feely. And that used to be, like, in the in the 90s, you could talk to a girl that you didn't know and put your arm around not her. Now. But not now. And everyone knows that except for my stupid friend <laughs> who's always like, hey. And, and then so I, whenever I go out with them. I always leave like four minutes after because I'm like I'm not getting arrested. I yeah, I don't want I don't want to be a part of this. First page, uh, re- front cover of the newspaper yeah. here. But you have to pull a counter reads now. If there's someone yeah. you don't know, you just hover over them. Yeah, yeah. Me, I always uh, to play it safe. Whenever I meet a new woman, I shake her hand like like a man, like everyone else, you know. Good. I don't want to give like a a firm handshake to show her you're stronger. No, I don't want to give like a like a sensual handshake by mistake because she's a woman. Like. Wait, wait, wait. How many sensual, sensual handshakes hand- do you no, give? No, no, not like a sensual, with, uh, but like but like a soft handshake. You know what I'm saying? So like, do you yeah, like this? And it's um, not, it's hello, not, my dear. Yeah, not, yeah uh, normally this is him. He's like, yes. that's not what I meant. Yes, quad. My name is Poseidon. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I meant. But you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm the Lord of the Seas. <laughs> <laughs> so you're giving handshakes. Yeah. Should be giving hand jobs. Yeah. That would be sensual. To myself. I think though a lot of the guys too, like it for a while it was the older guys that were creepy in bars, and now it's the young guys. And I think it's because they never learned how to sort of interact with women since they they've like whenever they were flirting, it was just with apps. So when yeah. they're in bars, they, they fucking lose their shit. Maybe. On, on their phone, they can send pictures of their dicks. So they're like, if I can send her a picture of my dick, why can't I just fucking pull her in the bathroom and show her my dick? 
You know what? Poseidon had a nice this, picture this, adventure this weekend, but we're only going to get to it on the Compound Media episode. Oh, really? Oh, oh shit. And that dude, brings this yeah. shot to an end. Is that a dick pic uh, episode? Oh, you're going to only find out on Compound Media. Compound Media. Mike, did you know that people can go to your website? It's mikeward.ca, and if they go there, they get your French language podcast, Mike yeah. Ward's Good, which is not only the number one French language comedy podcast on the planet, but it also erected its first billboard downtown. Yes, it did, in right. In front of one of the biggest TV studios. Yeah, in front of the biggest uh, French language network in Canada. And uh, we got, uh, my, my sales crew got their first sale today. So we're starting to fucking make money with that piece of shit. In, ca- <laughs> in, case, in case that you can't grasp how huge that is. A podcast started by Mike, a comedian, has his own ad team now, is erecting billboards around the city. It's one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my fucking life. <laughs> it's amazing. It's it makes s- no sense. It's some serious big dick energy. <laughs> yeah. Two years ago, I was this close to bankruptcy. Now I'm just fucking buying billboards. Living the dream. Yeah. And also that website is staying alive because of the good folks over at Planet Hoster. Planet Hoster is serving me well. Serving them. And if you go to planethoster.com right now and you decide to use the promo code 2-drink-minimum, you're going to get yourself a little rebate there to help out when you want to start your own website. Perhaps it's for a podcast. Perhaps it's just to put up your family photo album. Maybe it's just a website where you review food. Who knows? Whatever you want to do, you can do it on Planet Hoster. They help Mike out. They help us out. They're really good people. It's two dash drink dash minimum. You're helping us out. You're helping Planet Hoster. It's a it's a gay old time. Yeah. For Poseidon, you can go to the nearest bulletin board in your uh, in your town square and find a photo of him. It says wanted, uh, dead or dead. You can see drawings of him at the post office. Yeah. <laughs> the post office. Yeah. <laughs> What's drawing? What does that it's mean? A, we'll explain later. Uh, head over to compoundmedia.com. Use the promo code Canada20. That's Canada20. Get yourself 20% off to find out what kind of dick pics he's been sending this yeah. uh, over the weekend. And you can't find out here for free. We're not going to let it happen. Please, thank you for listening. I don't send dick pics. <laughs> <laughs>